A police weapon is fired. An unarmed man is dead. Tonight, New York City's police defend the shooting by an undercover officer. March of 2000, a dude from Flatbush named Patrick Dorsman, also known as Avalanche, was chilling in the city with his homeboy, minding their business when they was approached by what they thought was a random dude. This dude insisted that they sell him weed. Not only did they not have weed, they did not sell weed. An argument breaks out. Mr. Doorsman and friend was ambushed. Mr. Doorsman wound up getting shot in the chest one time and dies. The victim, a security guard, carried no weapon. And tonight, with the city still divided over the Amadou Diallo case, New York City's police are back on the defensive about the use of deadly force. Next day, Mayor Rudy Giuliani makes a statement saying that Mr. Doorsman was no altar boy. I would urge everyone not to jump to conclusions and uh, to allow the facts uh, to be analyzed and investigated. The mayor and police commissioner note Doorsman had a criminal record of burglary, robbery, and criminal possession of a weapon. But he was unarmed, and sources say he had no drugs on him. What, what's going on? You know, this is a serious thing, and it's, it's prolonging. And who's running? And, and Giuliani's the man, the, the head of this. This not only outraged Flatbush, it was an outraged New York City as a whole. Temperatures was high. The funeral was set to take place in Brooklyn a few days later, where the community and the police would come face to face. It was inevitable that clashes would happen, people got hurt, police got hurt, and it add insult to injury. In July of 2000, the officer that fired the shot didn't get indicted. The city said it was an accidental shooting, and in 2003, they awarded the Doorsman family $2.2 million. This is just a little Flatbush history. Neighborhood where the victim lived. Neighbors angrily noted that the victim, Patrick Doorsman, lived here with his wife, Karen, and one-year-old daughter in a small basement apartment. Neighbors add, Mr. Doorsman went to work every day and never dealt with drugs.